always myself and Vic. Got married in 98 um, and been together since then really. On the day of onset, I'd, I'd gone into work, she'd been feeling clearly unwell. She'd gone at the doctors and killed over in the waiting room. And they blue lighted her down to um, things there. I was a truck driver, you know, I just, I moved stuff from one point to another. I didn't know about strokes or anything else. I struggled for a long time. Um, I saw a clinical psychologist because I, I was carrying around a lot, of, uh, a lot of guilt myself. I got the feeling I was a bit of a pain to the consultants because I was always dragging them aside and generally talking to, to, to people on the ward. You know, pe people, visitors thought I worked there. Seriously, people that used to get, always used to see me there. And I'd take a sleeping bag and a couple of pillows and uh, used to sleep in the car. Fold the passenger seat down, little gas stove, job done. And uh, as long as I've got somewhere to rest my head and I'm not too cold, I was quite happy with that, really. Because we'd been there for, for a little while and we'd seen people come and go, I suppose that's really where the, like, the, the seed of the volunteering role started, really. You know, if you've got some sort of insight, it'd be remiss not to put a bit back, really. I had a little round, almost, with people that used to go and see. Uh, John, one of the guys at the, at the Danham Group, he, um, he, he was in there at the time, and, uh, and, and his missus Anne, and um, I used to go and see him. Gradually, they were introduced to the groups, uh, the one in Hunstanton and the one here in Downham Market, and gradually Rick wanted to do more and more for the Stroke Association, and you know, <laughs> we welcomed him with open arms. He's just a Downing Group, a Hans Stanton Group, and volunteers at the Art Group. He's a media ambassador. He's been with me onto local radio. He's on the um, reference group for the region, goes to the communication cafe and does registers for that. I find it quite difficult to say no, um, I think. The fact that he's so huge <laughs> and so tall, he just stands out as well. And he loves, because he wears his Stroke Association um, coat, out and the amount of new contacts he makes just from going to Sainsbury's and he's like brought people along to the group just while he's out doing his shopping. I'm proud to put the purple shirt on and I'm proud to represent the brand. You need a bit of help sometimes in, the, in your life. Things can go south quite quickly overnight uh, you know, in, in a matter of hours and, and you just need a hand around your shoulder to lift you back up again. And seeing him in action and seeing what a lovely person he is, how caring he is, how caring he is for Vic and for everybody and what a difference he wants to make is what makes him stand out. It's just helping people make the best they can because there is life after stroke and it's just giving people a bit of support to, um, you know, to make the best they can of it. Mm -hmm.